I'm Dr. Lou Graham. I practice general dentistry in Chicago. We're in a group called the Catapult Group. We're all about new products coming onto the market. Maybe eight weeks ago, we got trained on Carry View. The fact that you can literally see through a tooth is so innovative. Radiation free, digital imaging with transillumination. To say that we were intrigued, that would be an understatement. When you get a new technology, I look at how will it benefit my patients and really, am I gonna use it? We use it every day throughout the day. I do see big things for this in my practice. It's all about predictability. When you take an x-ray, you have issues about seeing things occlusally, buccally, lingually, or even interproximally. Before we do every restorative procedure, we carry view it. I can now see through the tooth and predictably know whether I'm gonna encounter a surprise. It's about diagnosis, less stress, all about predictability. There's no question x-rays are an absolute mainstay in everyone's practice. But is there a technology that can complement the images of a tooth to a higher level? Carry View will allow me to see lesions interproximally and smooth surface lesions. With such clarity, it complements the overall diagnostic approach. It makes me a better diagnostician. I know I'm not gonna leave anything that I shouldn't be and I feel more confident in the quality care that I'm giving. I don't get this kind of imaging in any other current technology. We're gonna show two clinical cases today. This clinical case was a individual who came in with cold sensitivity around tooth number 19. This is the intraoral picture and you can see a crack here, potential recurrent decay here, and another crack line here. This would not be evident on an x-ray. We use the carry view to evaluate the same tooth. Recurrent decay is seen by the darkness. I have the ability now with an intraoral image and carry view to further explain the issues at hand. This is a case that happens in every dental office multiple times throughout the year. I'm replacing an old silver restoration with leaking margins. I have the x-ray on the screen, absolutely nothing seen interproximally. I take out the amalgam, and now I take an intraoral image. And maybe there's a hint, maybe there's a hint of an issue, but you really don't see anything, so you're gonna do your occlusal restoration. This is what would happen pre-carry view, without question. As I'm prepping my distal box, you see this dark area right here. This dark area means if I stopped drilling my box right then and there, I would have left decay. So as you can see, all I did was drill just a little deeper, very conservatively, and the darkness is gone. I now look at the mesial portion. I look back at the x-ray, nothing. But yet with carry view, with the imaging coming through the tooth, the change in tooth structure, I know there's decay. And from this, the decay has already spread into the dentin. This is how it complements an x-ray. In many offices, they may take bite wings every year. In our practice, we would implement carry view so that it would be bite wings once a year and then carry view once a year. Because if we can see through teeth, we will feel totally comfortable in that diagnostic approach.